Talia Jack, a master's student studying at the Melbourne School of Design, has undertaken an unusual and innovative study, investigating alternative laundering practices to make clothing more sustainable. Current laundry practices require significant amounts of water, energy and chemicals. This research questions why people wash clothes so frequently and whether it's entirely necessary. The participants in my research had to wear the same pair of jeans five days a week without washing them for three months. I was kind of expecting that it would be socially challenging and we would get to the point where you could smell the jeans and see dirt on the jeans and I could use that as a way to explore um, community censorship around cleanliness and the kind of signals that people were getting that would motivate them to wash their jeans. But it was a big anti-climax. The jeans didn't smell, they didn't look dirty. And I talked to one of the medical scientists at Melbourne Hospital and she was saying that the bacteria reach a peak population and once the kind of food sources, dead skin cells, whatever, kind of stabilise, then that's, that's as dirty as the jeans are going to get. So this is a pair of jeans that were worn five days a week for three months without washing. Um, and you can see that there's no real stains on them. They haven't been washed since. And they smell just like people. Using denim as the medium for this social and scientific experiment, the research examined the way people wear and wash their clothing and social attitudes towards cleanliness. I kind of found such a range, and even looking on the internet as well, there's a huge range in how often people wash. Some people wash after every single wear, even if it's only one or two hours. Some people go for a month in the same dress without washing, and that's linked a lot to their families, and it's also linked to lifestyles and how much they care for clothes. I was brought up in a family where washing is quite an important thing and washing quite frequently is quite an important thing. Taking on this sort of challenge of wearing something for three months was quite a big thing for me because not only living with a pair of jeans you know, in my room uh, that I know I'm not washing and it slightly smells, um, but also the idea of um, having to um, wear it every single day, and especially after very hot days uh, where you sweat and things like that, and still having to put them back on. There was one guy who kind of felt that he wasn't participating because his jeans weren't smelly or dirty. So he started going for runs in them, and then he started sleeping in them to try and make them a bit dirtier towards the end. These findings provide a compelling case for washing clothes, or at least jeans, significantly less frequently. But social norms and behaviours are difficult to deconstruct and change at the best of times. There are, however, some straightforward measures that can make the usage and laundering of clothing more sustainable. I would like people to wash less, only wash when needed. When you take something off, air it out. If it's got a stain on it, perhaps you could spot, spot clean. Um, and then if it's really dirty, wash it using a natural detergent like soap nuts in cold water and then dry it on the line. 